So up until a few days ago, if anyone told me that Bioware's situation couldn't get any weirder than it already is, I would have probably agreed with them and shrugged it off. But somehow, every time there's some new form of interaction with the fan base, it all goes down south very fast and very bad. Just recently, mainly two days ago, Bioware had probably the most poorly received development livestream I have ever witnessed. Now, since I was busy making videos at the time, I missed most of the livestream, but honestly, at this point, I'm glad I did, because from what I hear, it was downright painful. I mean, just take a look at this and judge for yourselves. Just open it and then back away really quick. You'll, you'll see the... Run! <laughs> I don't believe there was any point in my life when I felt more pain for somebody else than this. You can literally pinpoint the exact moment when Jesse's soul was literally crushed into thousands of pieces and it was so bad that even he came in yesterday with a lengthy update on his whole breakdown following this exact moment and basically the entire livestream because it was a mess. I mean a whole mess and that doesn't even cover everything it was. And if you didn't catch on what this was, check out his face and how he went from a forced smile to downright being left speechless, all because of the loot problems. I'm going to go over his response in just a little bit, but if you were there when the livestream happened happened, you probably saw the chat being pretty much overwhelmed by the amount of players requesting an update and improvement on the loot system. That probably made like 95% of the replies in it and somehow they still all got pretty much ignored. Of course, it wasn't Jesse's fault for this. Let me be clear with you on this one. The people you see in this screen over here are not at fault for the current state of the game. They're simply people doing their jobs. As you will soon come to find out, even they cannot give specific details on important issues because the upper management has pretty much forbidden them to do so. So until somebody over at Bioware quits and goes in spilling all the beans, we have probably the most heartbreaking message I've read up until recently. So let's dig right into it because this is going to be a lesson for every company out there that doesn't want to fall as hard and as fast as Bioware did in recent history. Of course, the message, as it's implied, comes from the Anthem's community manager, who's been the one, you know, doing most of the talk in the past month or so. I'm not going to read word for word everything that he had to say, so I'll try to go over the more important bits, but one of the things he wanted to clear up from the very start was the fact that he doesn't remain quiet because he wants to, but because there's factors outside of his control. While he doesn't specifically state the reasons or naming names, well, outside of not wanting to be inaccurate with the information he's providing, there are obvious internal decisions that play a role here and I'm going to assume that the management has a role in this, as in keeping lips tight as much as possible on everything loot related. Unfortunately for Jesse, this means he's going to pretty much go head up against an entire player base being frustrated towards the game and pretty much take on all the heat. I find it very interesting that the once very talkative Ben Irving, Mark Dara, and the other leads I forgot the name of have been completely silent for over a month now and at the same time it looks like the game's community managers, people like Jesse Anderson, have to be put up in the front lines like meat shields against the angry masses. And while I do agree that that is their job, I think that a lot of the blame should still be directed towards the aforementioned lead producers or game directors who are obviously the ones in charge and calling all these shots. But anyway, to move on to the actual livestream, as he did talk a little bit about it, there's no way for me to summarize this position, and I'm just going to read out everything he said word for word, because this is just heartbreaking, man. So according to his statement, he said, The last stream was rough for me. I won't hide from that, I wasn't able to answer questions people wanted to answer, and it was very difficult to pull questions from the chat that were about what we were showing. The plan was to have the stream go out a week before, so that we could share the new stronghold and the new patch notes, but that freaking cable that was cut made my life hell. New info would have been shared as originally planned. I mean, for someone to come out and lay down his feelings like that in an environment like this where keeping it up professional 100% is a must, takes a lot of guts. And even more so, it shows how bad these people have it on a daily basis. Let me be clear with you on this one, I would not like to be in Jesse's shoes right now and I commend him for his mental strength. Being able to go through all of this and still keep things clear 
needs a lot of concentration and focus and a lot of mental strength as I've said. Now I'm not sure how many of you guys realize this, but even on the internet where a lot of people are anonymous, having thousands of strangers name you by name and call you a whole range of slurs, badmouth you into the ground is heartbreaking. I get my fair share of hate every now and then, way less than this guy gets on a daily basis and sometimes even that gets to me. Even that feels like getting punched in the gut. It's gut-wracking to get that kind of hate from people who know you by name, especially so when you know it's not your fault. Moving on though, he also went on about his exact internal reaction to when the chest opening happened, you know, the one that I showed in the beginning of the video. According to his statement, he said, when the chest was opened up on stream, I did almost say purple rain, but didn't because I wasn't sure how people would react and I froze. I was at a loss of war. Normal me would just laugh and joke about it, but things are sensitive right now, so I didn't. I want to get to the point where we can have fun together as a community on stream. Now imagine you having your own employees, co-workers and maybe even friends being at a loss of words because of some loot drops. I think Bioware's next hands-on meeting should probably be about fixing the loot, not because the fans are demanding it, but because of their own employees having to suffer because of it. To think that of all of the things in the world that a person could suffer for would be some virtual items or pixels on the screen is just mind-numbing. This right here shows you how bad the loot situation is and I know a lot of people are putting it off saying that well you just need to farm more or you need better luck or whatever. No, the loot system is simply broken. It's so bad that even internally this is discussed, even internally this is you know a problem and actual employees are suffering because of it. And there's a simple change to all of it. I'm not even sure at this point why Bioware keeps on pushing with their decision of not bumping up the loot drops. I mean at this point it's not even worth it to do it anymore. They've pushed through it so much despite pretty much being destroyed by an entire fan base and more. And let's be honest, the game just doesn't feel rewarding. I know there's a lot of voices saying that, well, what happens when you get all of the loot? What would you do after that? There's no incentive to farm for more. And I actually disagree with that. Once you know that you can get reliable loot drops, that gives you an incentive to play even more because you know you can perfect your skills, you can then start theory crafting, you can start creating additional builds, and you can actually start having fun in the game for a chance, instead of going on days at an end without having anything proper dropping. A lot of the replayability factor for such a game lies in the fact that when you repeat a certain type of content, you can expect to be rewarded accordingly. If that doesn't happen, there's no incentive to push on. A lot of people are still playing Anthem due to inertia, due to the fact that they got used to doing it, or maybe because they are just having a little bit more fun, but that can't continue for too long. I mean, the game obviously has a lot of problems and they are far from getting fixed. Anyway, he finished off saying that they do indeed check other games and development live streams extensively, as this was one of the complaints people had. Bioware not playing its own game? Well, actually, it seems that many of the people hired at Bioware actually put in hundreds of hours in already existing looter shooters out there, including, of course, Warframe, Division 2. Now, of course, these numbers don't seem that big. They seem rookie numbers to a lot of people. But let's be honest on this one. In a company where up until recently, and probably even to this day, most of the staff has to work for God knows how many hours per day, you can't really demand or expect for them to have 1000 hours plus for each and whatever other game there is on the market. You simply can't expect that because it's just not feasible. After working for 12 hours a day, 14 hours a day, you simply can't be bothered to play whatever other, you know, competitor has on the market. It's just the way it is. But anyway, I digress. For now, the impression I was left with is the fact that this whole silent treatment business is going to continue for quite some time, as will the suffering of the community managers that Bioware's upper management conveniently hides behind. Bioware right now is being called the biggest embarrassment for the gaming industry, even calling out some of the lead producers and people over in the upper management for the questionable decisions that were made which pretty much ruined the game. So yeah, in the end, pretty much the end game right now is how much more can Bioware screw up their own game. I don't think there's even an end to how much they can do it because every new live stream, every new update, every new communication and every new tweet, there is some controversy going on and it keeps on going and becoming even bigger and worse than it already was. Anyway, that is it with the news for now. Comment your opinion down below and in the meantime, a thumbs up and a subscribe would be super appreciated and I'm gonna see you guys next time, so peace out.